Hello my friends. My name is Miss Lenati and I teach third grade at Winthrop. I'm going to be reading chapter 29. Let's go. When Stephen eased out the front door, he was wearing red pajamas and a gray sweatshirt. His light brown hair was mussed, his eyes bleary. The flashlight he was carrying sliced through the darkness. The babies turned toward him and froze. Their eyes glowed like little moons. Flash squealed in fear. Stephen clicked off his light, and Flash seemed to calm a bit, although he was definitely hiccuping. Hey, whispered Stephen. Hi, Samar whispered back. Stephen sat down next to Samar. The babies watched with interest. Why did they come to you? Stephen asked. I don't know. It's like magic. No, Samar shook her head. I'm just quiet. They like that. Bongo flew down to Samar's shoulder. Hello, she said to Stephen, mimicking Samar's voice. Wow, he said, that's amazing. Yesterday, I heard her imitate a doorbell. Stephen grinned. She gave me this key, Samar said, holding it up. I don't know what it's for, a diary or a jewelry box, maybe? Or the world's smallest door, Stephen joked. For a while, everyone fell silent. Even the baby raccoons were still. At last, Stephen held out his hand, revealing Samar's wish. I found this, he said. Even in the moonlight, Samar's blush was visible. She looked away. I'm sorry about that word, Stephen said softly. The word on the tree. We didn't... It wasn't us, Samar nodded. My parents aren't bad people. They're just afraid of things, Stephen shrugged. So are mine, said Samar. I heard my father talking about moving. If we can find a safe place to go, she gave a sad smile. If there even is such a place. I'm sorry, Stephen said again. The babies, sensing Stephen could be trusted, began to trussle and romp. Harold and the smallest ewe searched for bugs. Rose Petal and her brother, hot buttered popcorn, played tug of war with a long piece of grass. I'll miss them, Samar said. I hope you don't move, Stephen said. A light blinked on in Stephen's house. I should go, he said. If my parents see me, I should go. Night, Samar said in a whisper. Oh, the things I wanted to say to those two. I wanted to tell them that friendship doesn't have to be hard. That sometimes we let the world make it hard. I wanted to tell them to keep talking. I wanted to make a difference, just a little difference before I left this lovely world. And so, I did it. I broke the rule. Stay, I said. Thanks for reading along, friends.